Hey guys, in the shed with Red, uh, another upgrade on the golf cart. So today we're going to put our old winch that was on our tractor, we're gonna move it over to our golf cart. So I've already removed the front bumper off here. Um, and next I have drilled holes in the aluminum to accommodate this ATV mounting plate we got from Harbor Freight so it's basically gonna go here and then we'll set the other winch directly on top of it this will also give me a little bit of front end weight because when my kids are on the back I also didn't have a problem with a ton of weight on the back they're not big kids but everything shifts to the rear so from that aspect we are going to place this on it's more for looks and occasionally getting stuck um, rather than that it, just simple process to have it's great to have if we're ever in the woods and need it but otherwise i don't anticipate using it a ton so here we go we'll move through all right so we got our holes drilled i basically just tapered them out um, continuously from a measurement standpoint there is a small bracket that's part of the main frame on the back of the main aluminum bracket there that you have to be aware of so just a heads up on that uh, first time I actually started to drill in had to move up just a touch I don't want to move up too high because of the lights I don't really want to have to raise them anymore a bit, of a, a bit frustrating to deal with um, basic 17, 7 16 bolts that I have laying around. Again, I'm not using this as a major supportive device at this point. Um, can be pretty simple, to be honest. I'm gonna center it up as best I can, more to the eye. All right, so I began to run my wiring at this point. I've had to move everything back in my shop because it's starting to rain. But as you can see, we have the front mount on and it's sprayed. Um, and I've ran my front. Um, this is my cable that will actually run back to the transition switch to allow me to use the actual motor switch. So what I did was I pulled this out. Maybe. And on the back of the key switch here is one of the the power switch from whenever the key kicks on that way the witch won't run unless the key is in and then i have tied it in here to one of the wires um, because there's not in, enough room to actually put it on the screw and then i ran a small i don't know if i'm able to show you enough but there's i drilled a hole here to actually run the cable through so it would be hid mount of my on and off switch or in and out switch and just simply screwed it to the base so when i'm sitting right here i can push and pull just as i need to now where i'm going to progress to next and run this cable underneath this is the actual housing um, that will connect that allows the motor to run in and out and i'm going to run it down underneath somewhere and i'll figure that part out and we'll mount it and then um, attach to the battery all right, guys, I got most of it together. So what I did was um, originally you saw me mount the back plate to the frame itself. This plate um, actually came with the winch. Uh, it was blue. I painted it black today to match. Um, I'm going to put the front guard on along with the spins. And a uh, little trick, I had to use the jack to hold both of them together. So underneath, maybe I can see it, um, the screws that went with the original that mount into the winch along the bases, um, I was actually able, the way they're designed, I could go through both plates because there's the exact same plate um, and put them together. So then I come off and hot and cold right there. I ran through underneath and into the back. I gotta trim that real quick, but then it runs back to the frame and underneath with the rest of the wiring. And here is the actual switch cable I need to put zip tie on that 
and then come around and you see where the in and out is on here we'll spray paint the little screw black to match i just used a um a self tapping screw and screwed it right into the aluminum and then underneath it all comes up and i've just simply put uh, the solenoid here and wrapped it around my air box with some zip ties right now um, it's not going anywhere it's stable but at the same time this is not what i want to be permanent but i'm gonna i'm actually a, going to put it on the frame i think but i'm just doing this tonight to get it on and then one day we'll randomly do that so she works this random red wire goes to the gas gauge the fuel gauge does not work on this machine so i'm going to pull it off to save the power switch her on and you can hear it so in just a minute we'll use it all right guys as you can see we got her winched up <clears throat> She looks good, and I like it. Um, the red underneath is my dog's frisbee, just a heads up on that. We're gonna hook it to the tractor and pull it in. All I'm doing now is just tighten my line back up and it's going all the way out. Bring it in, try to center it up. And that's it. Thanks for checking out my winch on the Club Car DS. This is a 95 model, roughly. Thanks. Thanks for watching in the show to be read.